things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. It's hard to believe. I'm taking it. I'm watching it. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. And I would do anything for Trump. Yes, I would do anything for Trump. Yes, I would do anything for Trump. But I won't do that. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right. I'm not going to get hurt by it. And I'm definitely not doing that. What do you have to lose? Okay, what do you have to lose? So I have, been, I have been taking it for about a week, for about a week and a half. Every day. At some point, every day. No, I can't. No, I won't. No, I, I will not do that. the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. But I'll never forget the look in your eyes, for shock and surprise, oh no. Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute, and is there a way we can do something like that, by injection inside or almost the cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs, so it'd be interesting to check that, so that you're going to have to use medical doctors, but, but it sounds it sounds interesting to me. If Trump so weighs 259 pounds, I think 258 pounds is full of crap! Today I'm identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques, as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. Trump wants everyone to fill the churches in during a pandemic. I can't believe John McCain. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. John McCain's gonna haunt you from his grave, I believe. Who's gonna pay for the wall? I promise. Yes, it will. One way or the other, Mexico's gonna pay for the wall. On my first day, I am going to ask Congress to send me a bill to immediately repeal and replace disastrous Obamacare. I told John McCain's gonna haunt you from his grave, I believe that. You see what's just been put out on social media where thousands of people are rushing the border, having a drone fly overhead. And I think nobody knows much more about technology, this type of technology, certainly, than I do. And you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been when you were narcissistic in me. You took the word right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been when you were fake news in me. We're doing everything we can to reduce the tax burden on you and your family. By eliminating tax breaks and loopholes, we will ensure that the benefits are focused on the middle class, the working men and women, not the highest income Took the word right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been when you were fake news in me. You took the word right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been when you said, believe me. But believe me, it is, okay? Believe me, folks. Believe me. 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 Hey, 
Believe me, believe me. Before he was president, Trump posted tweets like, can you believe that with all of the problems and difficulties facing the U.S., President Obama spent the day playing golf? Because I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. Believe me, bro. Hard to believe President Trump seems to have played golf at least 10 times in his first two months. We say seems because the White House of course is talking about... He can take his his Twitter account and shove him up his ass! White supremacists on the same moral plane. I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this. You had a group on one side and you had a group on the other and they came at each other with clubs and it was vicious and it was horrible and it was a horrible thing to watch. But there is another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it. I need you, but there ain't no way I'm ever gonna vote for you. Now don't be sad. Don't be sad, oh, do I'm not going to discuss that. There are still many forms of funding, and uh, we're not going to discuss that. What we want is we want good, straight, honest voting. Okay, honest voting. And by the way, if that could be honest, which obviously it can't be, you get a ballot, you're sitting in your bedroom signing it. Who knows who's signing it? Who knows that it ever gets your house? Who knows that they don't pirate? You know, they... Uh, they pirate these uh, Her, applications. Shiver me timber and swab the poop deck, uh, baby. He thinks I'm going to dig up some mail and dump it. One person signs it with different pens and a different signature every time. It's it's uh, obviously there's going to be fraud. We're not babies. There's tremendous fraud. But there ain't no yeah, way I'm yeah. ever going to vote for you. The things they won't get at the end of a race. We have a lot of them in California. They won't get better. The end of don't race. be and sad, don't. cause two out of three ain't bad. Now don't be sad, cause two out of three ain't bad. You know, nothing like having a nice private dinner. Everybody having a good time? With President G, we had a great talk. He's working very hard, I have to say. He's working very, very hard. And uh, if you can count on the reports coming out of China, that spread has gone down quite a bit. Uh, the infection seems to have gone down over the last two days. With the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you warn him to never do it again? All I can do is ask the question. My people came to me, Dan Coates came to me, and some others, they said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. Let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. I got to know right now where you love me. Will you love me forever when you need me? Will you ever leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you vote for me once? Will you vote for me twice? I gotta know right now. Before we go any further, will you vote for me? Poets forever. I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. And what he did is an incredible offer. He offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible offer. The probe is a disaster. Apparently Trump hasn't country. been watching Homeland the last 10 years. Apart. It's kept us separated. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. Stop right there. Gotta know right now.
doctors in the world. We have it very much under control. We accepted a few people, a small number of people. Uh, they're very well confined, and they should be getting better fairly soon. Very interestingly, uh, we've had no death. Oh, it's cold and lonely in a deep dark night. Come and cure this pandemic with this ultraviolet light. The flu in our country kills from 25,000 people to 69,000 people a year. That was shocking to me. And uh, so far, if you look at what we have with the 15 people and they're recovering, one is, uh, one is uh, pretty sick. So now I'm praying for the end of time. But my time.